each year in Belgium, over 70 million tonnes of rock are extracted from the bowels of the earth. An enormous endeavour which carves imposing trenches into the landscape. From their depths emerge crystalline waters, which once the operations are finished, transform these cathedrals of rock into a completely new environment. The flooding of former open pits creates permanent lagoons which have an enormous hosting potential for biodiversity. Under the surface, the vestiges of the activity become artificial reefs. Remains of machines, blocks of rock or concrete encourage the appearance of algae, then of invertebrates and finally fish. These make up an abundant pantry for water birds such as the common gull. To create nesting zones which are sheltered from predators, floating platforms can be installed. They will be equipped with barriers to protect from invasion by more common species such as ducks and geese, the aim being to welcome rare specimens. L'espèce emblématique, c'est la sterne qu'on a observée ici euh, lors des inventaires l'année passée. Donc ça, ce serait vraiment une belle réussite. In order to diversify flora and fauna on the site, works aiming at the adjustment of linear banks will be carried out. Generally, quarries have very steep walls, which offer no transition zone between the deep waters and solid ground. This prevents the installation of a specific habitat which is becoming rare today, reed beds. It's mainly reeds that grow in these wet zones which are vital for hosting aquatic fauna such as the great crested newt. This is where it will shelter its eggs, protected by the dense vegetation and water too shallow for fish. The former entry track to the pit, today submerged, is an ideal location for reed bed installation. With overburden materials, the existing slope will be softened to create shallow banks favorable to reed bed growth. Alors si on veut aller vite, il y a des roseaux à proximité ici à 100 mètres d'ici donc si on peut piquer des fragments toujours aller accélérer le processus. On the other banks, another possible action is to dig troughs just beneath the water level of the lagoon. These will be filled through infiltrations from the main water body. Ponds formed in this way will remain underwater during the entire year, isolated from fish predation, which are the greatest threat for amphibian eggs and tadpoles. Il y a eu des observations particulières dans ces mars ici, ici, on, a eu, ici. on a eu triton alpestre ponctué palmé. Alors qu'il a été créé il y a, il y a peu, il présente déjà un intérêt euh, no, notable. Maintenant, il manque vraiment toute une végétation qui va de se développer au fur et à mesure des mois. In other quarry sectors, even active ones, we can foresee the creation of large permanent water holes. By developing them near to runoff water or groundwater, their water supply throughout the entire year will be ensured naturally. A gentle slope of at least one side will encourage access for amphibians and reed growth. There are many development possibilities which are simple to put in place. The aim of the project is to set up 16 floating platforms, the creation of 24 permanent ponds, the softening of 400 meters of banks and the translocation of four populations of great crested newts. with the contribution of the LIFE programme of the European Union.